A group of 20 opposition lawmakers led by the KMT's Ma Wenjun is set to visit Taiwan's Taiping Island in the South China Sea on May 18th. The group, composed of 17 KMT lawmakers and three TPP lawmakers, will take a C-130 military transport plane to the faraway island. Former President Ma ying has praised the move, while KMT Chair Eric Chu says the visit shouldn't be treated as a special event. Meanwhile, a pro-independence Kaohsiung City councillor has criticized the move, saying the KMT is looking to stir up trouble ahead of inauguration day. Let's hear from the KMT and the councillor. It's our national territory. Our public representatives following the relevant laws have requested to boost the morale of our troops on the island. What's so special about this? In the past, DPP members have also visited. It shouldn't be made into a big issue just because Tsai Ing-wen isn't going to go. The KMT couldn't choose to go earlier or later. They just had to pick a time when the whole world is paying close attention to Taiwan, just ahead of Inauguration Day. And they are going to Taiping Island to stir up trouble. If they like it so much, they should be paying for the trip themselves. All this unnecessary and childish behaviour shouldn't have to be paid for by the people of Taiwan. Taiping Island is located 1,600 kilometers away from Taiwan proper. The island has an area of just 0.51 square kilometers and is administered as part of Kaohsiung's Qijing district. Flights from Pingdong's air base take about 3.5 hours to reach Taiping. The group is expected to stay on the island for about two and a half hours to oversee military drills and inspect a newly constructed pier.